Hello dear friends and welcome to another Peerless video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made one of these little Peerless color sheet booklets but bigger to fit the full size sheet with the prison pack which is all 80 of their colors. We will need tracing paper, cardstock, I just used 65 GSM paper that I found at the store, chipboard, decorative paper if you'd like to make yours look nice, thread, this is waxed bookbinding thread but you can use anything you have on hand, PVA glue if you'd like it to be acid free, needle, I used a curved one but you can use a straight one. Scissors, you may also want a larger pair. <laughs> a bone folder or something to crease the edges. An awl, or you can use a needle. You'll also need a pencil, a ruler, a straight edge, and a glue stick. I would like to preface this by saying this is not a bookbinding tutorial. I'm just showing you how I made this book. There will actually be some links down below on actual bookbinding tutorials so that you can see how to bind your book. For this one, I will be using a Coptic stitch, which is a very beginner-friendly bookbinding technique. First, we're going to be making our cover so that they have time to dry. I'm gluing my chipboard onto my decorative paper. I want to make sure that I get glue spread over everything and I'll be using an old brush that I've been using for bookbinding. So it's already crusted with glue, I don't feel bad about using it, and um, I like it better than one of the sponge brushes because it doesn't soak up the glue, it's just going to spread it around for me. Now I'm cutting the paper at an angle on each edge so that the edges don't overlap when I fold them over. Now I'll glue those edges down. do the other cover. While I'm gluing this cover, I have the other one drying in my book press so that it doesn't warp, but I know many of you might not have one of those, so you can just use some heavy books to lay on top of it so that it dries flat. Next, I'm going to be folding all of my cardstock and tracing paper. I will also include the measurements for everything in the description for you if you would like to make the same exact size book. But the size of your book will depend on if you'd like it to be one color sheet per page, two, three, whatever you'd like. I am going to be doing two color sheets per page. And how I determined the size of my book with two color sheets is I just measured a color sheet, doubled that, and then added some wiggle room so that it wasn't completely on the edge of the page and they both had some space to set on the page. Next, I'm taking a sheet of tracing paper and putting it on the outside of the cardstock and, an, and then another sheet to put on the inside. This will make it so that no matter where your color sheets are pasted onto, they won't rub onto another one 
or leak into another page. And the way I determined how many sheets I would need is I just doubled it from how many sheets of cardstock that I needed. Next, we're going to be measuring where we want our binding holes to be. What I did is I just went exactly in the middle and then a quarter inch on either side. I'm using another ruler as a straight edge to just keep my lines straight. Make sure you draw a dot on every single one and I just do that by sliding my pencil up against the straight edge all the way up from or from the bottom to the top. If you want to keep your sheets more in place because mine did turn out a little bit wonky, <laughs> you can use some binding clips that you can find at the store or if you have book binding supplies then you can use actual book binding binding clips. Um, but for this one I'm not making a sketchbook or anything so I just thought I'd keep it more simple especially because I know you might not have all of the supplies at home. Now I am just poking or punching the binding holes. I just have a little block of foam here. Um, you can also use a foam mat or whatever you have around. Just make sure to be careful of your fingers. Uh, these awls and needles are very sharp, obviously, so you don't want to poke yourself. Then I just went ahead and did that for all of the sheets. Then my camera stopped recording, so I did not get to record how I measured um, the holes for the covers, but what I did is I just held up a sheet to it uh, a little bit away from the edge. I'd say it's like uh, an eighth of an inch or so and just poked where the binding holes aligned and then I used it as a template for the other cover. Now I'm measuring how much thread I need. I'm just taking the length of the book and because I have 11 sheets, I did 12 lengths of thread. And again, I'm using book binding waxed thread, but you can use any thread that you have at home. If it starts to tangle, then you can wax it yourself because wax thread might not be readily available in the stores where you're located. I had to order mine. Um, I will leave the name in the description as well. And again, this isn't a bookbinding tutorial, so I'm just quickly uh, showing that I started to do this, um, but we'll leave some tutorials in the description for you to watch. And voila, we have a book. Now we just have to paste the color sheets in. <laughs> Make sure you glue on the side that isn't the actual color sheet. And I'm making sure to glue at the top 
and just a small portion because I want to be able to lift the color sheet to see what the color is on the other side, the color name. And for these first two, I did not wear gloves because they weren't really colors that would rub off on my fingers, but for the rest of them, I actually did wear gloves to paste everything in, and you may wanna do the same because it will stain your fingers and it could get onto your other stuff. So I don't recommend touching other things if you can help it while you're working on this as well. And here we have it, a full peerless booklet, something that's easy to access all of the sheets in one place and it lays flat and everything. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and I hope it wasn't too difficult to follow. This was my very first tutorial, so please forgive me. <laughs> um, enjoy and have a lovely rest of your day. Bye.